Hey guys, it's Frank 300 here, and uh, I'm going to start my first uh, custom race, uh, custom race uh, how to play series. Now, I'm no expert, so I can, the, I can, I'll be helping with the basics on how to play these races. But don't take any of the builds that I say seriously, all right? So we're starting off with the dragons. Um, so starting off, their worker is called the puddler. So just like just like any other thing, you, you can build buildings immediately. You can build buildings. I build the first building. Uh, this here is a razorback. This is equivalent to an overlord. So these act as overlords, except they're on the ground and they they still can't attack. Well, actually, they do have an attack. Okay, no, they don't have an attack. All right. So here is the production structure uh the the main production structure to, to, to this, this will build your defenses and plus it'll also build your your upgrade stuff so upgrade uh, propagate aka uh, uh, propagate like augmentation pit the augmentation pit is what the they used to build. We're we'll building one of those. Um, so we're gonna build the coagulators, which are the thing of building a. Thing. Uh, I'm playing against an AI, but uh, they don't really have much to do unless they are Genotron. I don't think I'm gonna be getting attacked. Well, yeah, so there we go. That is the that uh Yeah, so these things are again puddlers. You, you know, they also build the main uh building structures as well. So we're gonna go with that. Um I'm gonna grab another base here. We're gonna grab another uh, we're going to grab another Den of the Deep, uh, Denison of the Deep, which is the their main production structure, which products, which produces their workers and attacks. Well, not attacks. They don't attack. R ignore that last statement. They don't attack, but they do... They, they build the things and they can also summon gases. So you see these uh, coagulators. So yeah, you're building that. I'm going to scout. I doubt it's going to be an AI that's going to attack me. We'll have to see though. I mean, the AI may not attack me, as I stated. But yeah. Uh, if you're going to play this mod, you might want to play with friends. Or with other people. Because uh, you can't really um, do much. That. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm going to do this now. So, I got this idea because I was playing someone earlier who had no idea how to play this race. So, yeah. Yeah, they're not building. They're Terran, and they're not building. So, basically, I have all the time in the world to show this off, and I can just go take them out when I'm ready. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get another... So, I get some more coagulators. Oh, Can I just build a coagulator? No, you can't. You can only build it from there. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing with them is it takes a while to build anything. Let's go ahead and build the first of 
the first of many uh, dragon units. This race, as I said, they're called the dragon. So. They are called the, as I said, they are called the dragon. So. And no, not like the dragon from Battle Realms. But um, we're going to go ahead and build uh, one of these over here. I'm not going to get attacked, but if, let's pretend we're actually playing a normal game here. This here, you'd want to build that to build your defenses, because as I said, this builds your defenses. Right, so let's go ahead and get another one of those. What well, I don't need another one of those. Let's get this. The dragons do take a while to spawn their units, I've noticed. But yeah, we got this thing, which is a flame spitter. Um, they have f f fusion, uh, fission, which allows them to swim to two identical clones, so we can do that and make them turn into um, two of them. We also ascend to do more damage. So, like, we can let's take this guy for example. We do way more damage, as you see. This guy also can split into multiple things. But the thing is, with this game, you have to have enough rage to turn them into uh, these units. But yes. Uh, let's get the Horned Magus. And I'm going to go ahead and get the next thing. We're going to build this. Now, normally you would want to if you would want to build more than one base if you're playing against another player. I'm just going to pop key that so I don't have to click back on it again. Same thing with these. I'm just going to go like that. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, now this thing is a spellcaster. This is a spellcaster for the um, guys. So, I'm a vision at laser deep one. What? That I don't remember that one. Oh, greater deep one. Lesser deep one. Oh, okay, I see. So we gotta go here. So yeah, in order to upgrade these, we have to actually go to this step. Now, it looks like they're... You okay, know, I thought their upgrades took rage. Because it does that thing when they're raging. Uh, but, again, they don't have as much, like, production as, like, most units. And here is this, which enables... So this spawns flying dragon units, so this worm thing turns them into that. Um, and then they have the next unit I'm building, which is Berserker. Uh, Unseen Beast, yeah, here it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get that next. So yeah, they actually have to do their upgrades inside of their pits. So I um, need more gas. Okay, well, you guys work on that, and then you go ahead and just build. Oh wait, you can't build that. Build over here. And again, normally you would want to build more than one base more than two or more, rather more than two bases I should say I will act like this is a normal game I'm playing even though the AI will not attack so now I, I would go for a third so like I would wait till you have at least some units and then go for a third but um I, I mostly play hybrid when I play this I don't really play the dragons I might start playing them just for the heck of it there's the berserker we're gonna go ahead and get this thing and then we're going to have you build an augmentation pit right here. And then that's pretty much all the structures that can be built by the dragon race. So let's go ahead and just get another 
I don't know, another another one of these. This building is called the Greater Heap One, which trains higher units. This trains light units. Now, in order to train unit, multiple units from the same thing, you do have to have these uh, augmentation pits in the area. And now we can build a propaganda guardian. Well, not that. We can build one of these things now. Unseen beasts, which, as you may have guessed, they're cloaked, basically. And then we got these things, which the Hand of Power, which is a spellcaster. And I need more gas to build it, though. So can you hurry up and give me more gas game? But yeah, I... I'm playing this like I would be playing a normal game, basically. Now, this here, yep. Wait, not you. Uh, get rid of these. No, I want these in. I want to get rid of these. There we go. Select all those. Okay, now. As I previously stated, you, again, like, you're going to want to build as much as you can here. But more things. Like, right now, I, if, I was, if, I, if I was playing against someone, I'd probably go attack to see if I can break their thing. So here's the Unseen Beast. Uh, this thing has the Ascend ability, so we can Ascend. And this will give him... Um, teleports to the other side uh, so basically yeah it basically teleports it can kill a unit instantly I won't need that many units though but yeah let's go ahead and bring these guys down here and then the final thing we need to build is this thing uh, but first I need to get more uh, I need to get more of uh, these guys Yeah, not, yeah, so Ascend is, they, I get, they can only do that one time, I believe, and they do even more damage. So, Deep Point Augmentation Pit. Rhymestone. Oh, okay. So you have to upgrade. So you have to unlock some of these with these upgrades. I completely forgot about that part. But yeah, so this here, this is basically how you play the dragon. You just do all this stuff and build things. Now, obviously, um, I would not do. I, I don't. I don't know the builds. That know all the builds. So yeah. Uh, so for the dra flying dragon units, they get. Uh, they get. Spawn Arc Worm, they get... Those are just Mutalisks. I don't know why they're calling it something else. And we got these, which are basically just... Oh, wait, no. These do not explode. These actually have a normal attack. Get this here. And these are also the... Um, Drop ships as well for the dragons. So if we like go like that, yeah, they put the drop. They put to do that, and they actually do have an attack. Oh no, they don't. These okay. These are just drop ships actually. So these basically are just drop ships. I don't know why I thought they had an attack. I should have. I should have guessed that. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let's get this last unit. And that's expensive. Damn, that's expensive. Okay. But it's probably because those are pretty broken. Like, these are probably really good. 
Um, now the hybrid are pretty broken. I will I will say that. Uh, especially end up dropping with the the hybrid, which I did last game. I played as the hybrid. They're basically neither. I mean, these are basically just primal zerg, but they're called dragons. I don't know why they call them dragons. They should just be the primal zerg, if anything. I agree with the guy who said that they should just be called primal zerg, which I believe is, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm in his discord. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get the rest of these flying units that I can get. Grab one of those. Grab some of these. And I'm not going. I mean, obviously they're gonna they're gonna lose because it's just not that they're just not that good. And then I just need to augmented. So I just gotta go here. Click on that. And those are, I, be, I believe this is their ultimate, like, flying unit. But yeah, they have a decent sized army. The, as I said, the dragons are pretty simple to play as. I just, I mean, but uh, I'm about to go finish off the AI after I get this last unit. After I get this last unit, I'll go finish off the AI. Uh, yeah, Wrath Knight, we got you know, this one. This ability does uh, reduce build time. This ability here increases the movement speed, reduces the charge time, of, and then we also have this. But uh, we have this thing, which uh, basically is a flying unit. And these are basically, I guess they're kind of like carriers, I think. They're like less, whatever though. Yeah, that's done, that, this is just about done. I need more, I need more of these. But yeah, um, that's basically how the dragons work. Um, I'll be able to explain the hybrid a lot better. Um, when I, when I get to the hybrid. But next time I'll probably do the UPL. Or not UPL, APL. They're called APL, not UPL. Let's get one of these. Like, why is there a detector, their ultimate unit? That is their ultimate flying unit. That is interesting. There's probably a reason for it if I had to guess. <laughs> Okay, I think that's another attacking structure. But yeah, this thing... Why is this thing there? Oh, maybe it's because they can... Oh, I see. Okay, so they can... Oh, it's because they can bring back dead allies. That's why they're the ultimate unit. Okay. I don't know why this is like this. That's the one thing I did not know about this race. But yeah, so yeah, this is yeah. So basically, this is your main building structure. This is the low tier unit structures. This is the multi tier unit structures or the higher tier unit structures. And I said these augmentation pits are where you do all your upgrades. So more talent, more lines. Can I, this thing attack actually? No, it can't. But okay, so. This can resurrect if stuff dies. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's kind of good. Not going to lie. Let's put another one. Why not? 
Oh, you can't split another one of those. Okay. So these, you, oh no, those you can. The, no, those are split. Okay, I thought they were. Well, let's go take out this non-building AI because yeah, I'm pretty much done with this explanation. So, and the areas get trained out of here. So yeah, that's how you play the uh, dragon race. Um, oh, why are you guys, they're long distance mining. Okay, you guys are... Okay, that unit is broken, okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was a helpful thing. I will probably, hopefully this is a helpful explanation. I will probably do, not tomorrow, probably the day, probably like next week, probably. I'll be, I'll do the next one, which I'll be doing uh, ALP. Actually, no, you know, no I'll, actually I'm going to do UED next, actually. So yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this, if you, if you want to become part, if you want to, uh, help this channel out, uh, it's free. And if you like this content, you can always unsubscribe. Um, uh, also make sure you check out my, um, discord I have with my friends as well as my channel I have with my friends called Dying Rock of Characters Play, um, where we, we will voice act and do stuff like that. So yeah, uh, this is 300, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.